And with all this community support, the Wiregrass Area Food Bank still needs your help because it's now reaching out to help others beyond the Wiregrass. David Hanks says the food bank is in need of canned goods to deliver to the victims of Hurricane Ida. He says after many food banks near the coastline were compromised during previous storms, the national group called Feeding America decided to set a backup inventory considerably inland from coastlines in order to be able to help those affected by storms at or near the coasts. Hank says the Wiregrass will be sending canned goods to Mississippi to help supplement inventories there. We help provide the frontline feeding groups like Red Cross and uh, Alabama Baptist Association, Methodist groups and Lutheran groups that all go out and work the front lines with their uh, canteens, feeding people going into the communities. Hank says giving back doesn't take much. It's as simple as picking up one or two extra cans while you're out grocery shopping. He says keep in mind though that items that are easy to eat and easy to open are these are the ones that are best in storm-ravaged areas.